Welcome to The Forge. I'm Joe and today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you through what I like to use to fill and smooth your prints to get them ready for paint. So if you're wanting to do something that's quick, that's easy and cheap, stick around. So what you're gonna need is some wood filler. What I like to use is the 900 gram Elmer's wood filler, just the normal stuff. Next, I use Pledge, about 100 milliliters or so. It just depends on um, how thick your wood filler is. And then the third thing you're gonna need is some acrylic thinner. This can also be water. Um, I tend to use the same thinner that I use to thin my acrylic paints with. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna add about 200 milliliters, 100 milliliters of each of the Pledge and the water or the acrylic thinner into the blender. Add in the entire container of your wood filler. Now this is up to you how you want to do it but I tend to go through quite a lot of it and I just mix it all at the same time. Um, typically when I when I fill things um, I'll do a whole big batch at one time that way I have a lot of stuff that I can work and sand uh, later on. So this stuff does tend to settle out so keep that in mind when you do mix a lot of it you're probably gonna have to go and stir it up really well before you use it again. So just remember that you can't just take it out of the container and pour it in there. So what you're going to do is add your 200 mils to the blender, add your container of your wood filler to that, and then start mixing it. Look at the consistency. You may have to add a little more, as you can see that I had to here, because mine was coming out a little thick. You want it about the consistency of maybe a little thicker of chocolate milk, give or take. Um, that way when you do spray it, it comes out at a decent consistency and doesn't clog up and just jam up your uh, your spray gun um, after it's all mixed and all uniform uh, run it through a paint strainer really quick just takes out any little globs that didn't want to dissolve or any little solid bits that you know if you were using as just wood filler would be fine but you're running this through a spray gun so you want it nice consistent and smooth so as you can see after I've got it poured into the container from being strained it's nice and consistent running it through a regular spray gun like in like what I do um, this consistency and, and viscosity of it is enough that it flows really nicely. If you just got an airbrush, and yes, this does work with an airbrush, thin it down a little more, make it about the consistency of your regular paint that you're using for an airbrush, and it'll work just fine. Um, when I first started using this to test it out, I did some small parts, ran through a 0.3 millimeter nozzle airbrush, and it did just fine. After three or four coats, the layer lines were gone. It sanded out with, you know, some 320 grit paper and it was ready for primer and paint. So it went by really quick. So as you can see, um, it comes out after about three to four coats. It builds up really fast. Um, it hides a lot of imperfections in the layer lines. And after being sanded, you're gonna see, and this, this one here in my, um, my sample of the second sister helmet here, was after a coat of primer. So basically within like two to three hours of sanding and getting rid of layer lines and imperfections with the filler it was straight ready for primer so there you go it's nothing really crazy it's cheap it's fast and it's really effective so give it a try let me know in the comments down below what you think how it works for you and you know any improvements i can make i'm working to make this a little bit better make it a little easier to use um, and I'm also looking at making it commercially available. I'm still working on a few things, but I'm going to continue to work and refine this and make it a better product and a better thing to, for all of you to use. Um, the name of the game is getting this stuff done fast and effective and getting an accurate result. So if you liked the video, click subscribe. We're going to have more and leave your comments below. Thanks for joining in.